wrap the news and this is the evil bible.com you know and so uh i respect this website for just one reason and that is because they don't blame rap the news for what's in the bible again they don't blame rap the news for what's in the bible you know they don't blame the Hebrew Israelites for preaching what's in the Bible. So this person writes, this website is designed to spread the vicious truth about the Bible. Well, thank God it ain't wrapped the news because it seems like all online. Every time I read the Bible is blaming me for the Bible's content for far too long. And I noticed, you know, if you're white and you listen to my channel, don't do this. It's stupid. It's just dumb to blame me for what's written in the Bible. I have a job, and that job is to say what the truth is of the Bible. That's it. And that truth may not be for you. You know, if you're so damn sensitive, turn to God and blame him. Tell God that that should not be in there. Tell God to erase it and write something that soothes you. Because you're an idiot. You should not be listening to these morons, man. So watch this. Long, for far too long, priests and preachers have completely ignored the vicious criminal acts that the Bible promotes. Criminal acts. So they're saying God is a criminal. The so-called God of the Bible makes Osama bin Laden look like a Boy Scout. Wow. This so-called God of the Bible... You know, it makes Obama, uh, Osama, I guess it is Obama, Bin Laden, look like a Boy Scout. This God, according to the Bible, is directly responsible for many mass murders. So is the Gentiles. That's right in this. How many lands have y'all went into and mass murdered the Indians, mass murdered the Aboriginal people, mass murdered the South Africans, mass murdered the children of Israel? It's written right in the scriptures that you did that. Come on, man. Two-faced. Rapes. That's what y'all did. Pillage. That's what y'all did. Plunder. That's what you did. Slavery. That's what you did. Child abuse. That's what you did. And killing. Not to mention the killing of the un unborn children. And you the one who cut the babies out of the stomach. It's ironic, man. That you guys have something to say. You know, just like I said, if you're white and you listen to the Raptor News show... You know, our channel. I ain't even call it a show. It's, it's becoming a show because that's what these uh, morons want to make out of it. A show. Because they can't handle the truth. Bad hand. This guy is writing. I'm going to listen to it a little bit. Rap the news, you are an absolute piece of shit. It's a fucking free for all on white folks here. In your words, no, those are your words. In comment section, it's all bullshit, you black motherfucker. I'm black and I am a motherfucker. We all bleed red and you need to preach that instead of encouraging people to divide themselves freely. <laughs> you can't tell me what to preach. I'm preaching what's in the book. No, you don't read that. That's crap what's in the book. You just say stuff to keep everybody united. Do y'all say things to keep everybody united? I don't think so, man. Come on, it's a double standard here, people. And then stop blaming me for what the Bible and the Torah says. Or any righteous book. I'm calling you out, brother. Ain't that what the last one said? See how the devil just keeps saying the same thing? You out rap practice exactly what you preach. Okay. Which we know you'll never do. You need to change this racist ass approach. Don't tell the truth about the devil because it hurts. The truth does hurt, don't it?
So let's read it. I am white. It is my skin. But my love is for all. I have no hatred. I love the gift of life. I listen and learn. When I die, God knows my heart is good. Love all. Are you saying all whites and Asians are going to hell? I'm a little confused. Womp, 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 womp. Watch this. So she's saying she's white and she's good and she don't have no hatred. But the, look, look at the name. Tasteless 666. Tasteless 666. But she all about the Bible and love and peace and everything else, right? Liars and deceivers, man. And that's all it is. Liars and deceivers. I don't even respond to these questions or anything like that. Because I don't have to. When you speak the truth, if you're mad at the truth, go somewhere where somebody going to lie to you. Go somewhere where somebody is preaching that false bullshit. And you keep deceiving yourself all the way up until you burn in hell. Let's preach the truth. Yay. It's God that you hate. I didn't write one word. I said that at the title. They know I didn't write no, not one word. They're mad because I'm reading the parts of the Bible. Why don't y'all just buy every Bible and rip all the parts out that you don't like? You'll be left with probably one page, right? From Paul of Tarsus. You know. The book wasn't given to you. The book tells you that the book was not given to Gentiles. Of course the book is against you because it was written against Gentiles. Jesus said, don't go nowhere near the Gentiles. Jesus is the one that called you dogs and swines and pigs. Right? Come on, snap out of it. No, he was sent to the world. That's a sacrifice. The church even told me so. Because they don't ever read. Genesis 27, 29. Let the people serve thee. And the nations bow down to you. These are the same people that's going to be fueled for the fire, says God. These are the same people that's going to be fueled for the fire, says God. That's what you're mad at. The reality of the truth. Be Lord over thy brethren. And that's Esau. And Esau is Edom now. The Bible says so. And let thy mother's son bow down to thee. Esau bow down to Jacob. Cursed be everyone that curses thee. And blessed be he that blesses thee. And so how the curses work. They don't know. Let me let me show you something, man. For every word, God is going to make him accountable for every word that he says in degradation of a Hebrew. For every word that goes against and curses and uh, belittles or anything else. Uh, and I don't know who rap the news is. That's a fictitious character on YouTube. But um. You know, Rap the News may be a racist piglet against whites because he don't exist, just like Jesus Christ. You know, I mean, I mean, Christ crucified. He don't exist either, but y'all believe in him, right? Anyway, for every word that they say, guess what's going to happen? On the day of requital, when God make you pay back in full, y'all going to pay Rap the News. This is what Rap the News knows from reading the scriptures. I'm telling y'all this too. For everything that they say mean or hate, hatred or whatever wicked against you, they pay you. You think I'm going to pay for reading what God says that he wants y'all to bow down to the black man? I'm not going to pay for that. I'm going to get rewarded for telling the truth. That's how that works. So things work the way God say they work. So as you sow, I'm sowing towards the righteousness. I'm spreading the word. What you doing? You're the one who's spreading hate and stupidity and ignorance beyond all ignorance. You know, you and your people is spreading ignorance beyond all ignorance. When y'all actually could actually read the Bible, y'all finding out that y'all can't stand within it. Like, your Jesus is fake. And we, we're going to read some of that stuff that y'all can't stand. Isaiah forty seventeen. All Gentiles before him are as nothing. Did Raptor News write that? One Gentile, come on, tell me how I'm taking that out of context because I read it. 
Wait, let me read it the way y'all want to. All Gentiles before him as, as white shining light angels. And blacks should bow down to them. Go back to being slaves again. It was better that way. You guys ain't doing shit anyway. I heard a white person say that. Remember that dude that they took all his cattle and stuff like that? That's what he said. Y'all was better off being slaves. Didn't he say that? Because that's how a lot of them think. But think in reverse now. Isaiah 40, 17. All Gentiles, all whites, all Orientals, all of y'all before him are nothing. You are as nothing. So if anybody else say that to you, you would totally get what that means. The Bible, you're trying to look for some hidden meaning that ain't there. And they are counted to him less than nothing in vanity. You think God is talking good about you? God don't change. So if he wanted y'all to bow down then and bless us. And he wants y'all to bow down now and bless us. You just can't. Because he told you you had a what? A hatred. Perpetual hatred. Can't you see it? It ain't me, but the problem is you. And that's why you are counted less than nothing because of the way you treat his people. You're stupid. Rap the news is not hurt or offended at all because when you get the knowledge and you know how the system works, then you use the system for you instead of using the system against you. You know? Let's continue because there's more on the menu. So the Gentiles are do a what? Count it less than nothing. And what is it telling? Leviticus twenty twenty three. And you shall not walk in the manner of the Gentiles. Who is he talking to? Black people. What do you mean by walk? You don't you are not to act like them. Well, they upstanding model scale citizens, aren't they? That's how they hold they self, right? But that ain't what God said. God said you nothing and don't walk and act like y'all. Which I have cast out before you. I kicked them out. When he kicked out Hagar, he kicked you out. When he kicked out the Egyptians, he kicked you out. You know? When he kicked out the devil, he kicked you out. You don't get it, man. And it ain't for me to make blind, deaf, and dumb people get something that they can't get. Because that's this is why I wasn't given to you. Because all you get is vanity and superficial shit. You don't get the word of God. You don't even know God. Get to know God. Now you're getting to know him. You ain't shit. You, now you know God. Because if, if you was shit, then why is it saying you ain't shit? He's saying, watch this. Rap the news ain't shit. Right? But everything you say, God is saying that to you. How ironic, huh? And they are counted to him less than nothing in vanity. You shall not walk in the manner of the Gentiles. Jesus said don't do what? Don't even go around y'all. Which I cast out before you. Why do you have to be cast out like the devil? Y'all have to think. This is what, what the problem is. Is you don't want to think. You was told a lie in church. And now someone is telling you the truth. And it hurts. For they committed all these things. And therefore I have abhorred them. Abort me, he can't stand y'all asses. You are nothing. Bow down. You arrogant. He's going to come back and destroy the pride of your power, like he said. Listen carefully. Micah 5 8. And the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles in the midst of many people. Again, the many people is y'all. As a lion among the beast. So what is he referring to you as? A lion among the beasts. If I said anything like that. You would call me racist. Well I guess you're dealing with a racist God. If that's what you call racist. Right. Again. Jacob. The remnant of Jacob. He ain't talking about us. He didn't give us a nasty title. He gave you a nasty one. Gentiles in the midst of people as a lion among beasts. He called your nations beast nations. He called your kings beast. He said he gonna throw the beast and that's all of you into the fire. He said you are as fuel for the fire. Raptor News didn't write any of this. 
thou shalt not speak it. It's against white law, right? No, it's against God's law. Isaiah forty fifteen. Behold, the Gentiles are as a drop of the bucket. And some say a drop in the bucket. And that's where they got that from. And are accounted as the smallest grain. A sand crystal. Right? And then what does it say up there? You are counted as nothing. So if you think about a sand crystal on the ground, who gives a fuck about it? You got to think, man. And who's saying this again? God. Raptor News is saying what? Which Raptor News opinion? Oh, I'm not supposed to agree with God. That's what it is. I get it now. Damn it. How can I be so blind? You know, I have to turn my back on God to please you people, right? I would go to hell if I did that. And you're going to go to hell for turning your back on God, right? Isaiah 54, 3. For thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left. Thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles. What, what would Gentiles say? No, you're not going to inherit. I'm not going to be your slave. It wasn't that way when you was making us a slave or you had made our forefathers a slave and humiliated and degraded them. And as one so, this is God's system, so shall you reap. No, we don't reap. God going to keep you alive so you can reap. You ain't going to be able to die. You ain't going to be able to die because you already know how y'all is weak and try to kill yourself. Y'all can slit your, slit your wrist and you still going to do them slave tasks. You ain't getting out of it. This have nothing to do with me because I'm speaking the truth. I can back up everything that I'm saying by the scriptures. It, it would be something different, Mr. Angry Truck Driver. You know, uh, notice that they're all in the dark. Mr. Dark, dark uh, you know, dubious, dark wing duck. Habakkuk 117 shall they therefore empty their net and not spare continually to kill the Gentiles did I write it no what do you think he made this page for or they made this page for called what the evil Bible because they found out the book really wasn't for them and God wasn't even talking to the Gentile. Don't you know that all these verses that I read, which one was talking to you? Which one is directly addressing you? Or is it more like you're being talked about? That's it. Oh, my God. Oh, we're figuring these things out, rap, because we're not used to using our brains. We just used to getting angry and having a perpetual hatred that's all we know to do we'll learn something new let's keep going jeremiah 46 28 fear thou not O jacob my servant says the lord for i'm with you hmm what kind of god is this he i thought he was supposed to bring us all together white guy for I will make a full end of the Gentiles. But I'm going to kill them. What it says. Continually to kill the Gentiles. I'm going to make a full end. He's going to destroy you all. What does that have to do with rap the news? I did not go back 3,000 years ago. And call God on some ancient rock phone. And say. Lord in the future. I want to piss off the Gentiles. Say kill them all and hate them. Say they, they ain't nothing. You, you 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 don't understand now, but you will in the future. This is really going to get their fucking goat. That's stupid. And you're stupid. Stop reading the book. Stop listening to people like me who read the book. Because you hate the book. Watch. You hate the evil Bible. Not rap the news. You hate the evil Bible. Look, it's flashing for you. Evil Bible, evil Bible, evil Bible. We hate it, Rap the News. Don't ever read that again. <laughs> We're so sensitive. Wow, to kill everybody in the world, you're very sensitive. I'm going to make a full end of all these sensitive people. 
Isaiah 37, 29, because they rage against me. See, don't God got y'all number? You ain't raging against Raptor News. You see that fool call itself raging against me? You can't say that I said something out of context here. Like you can't say it right now. I'm coming for you, brother. That's what he said. I'm coming for you, brother. And other white people get mad as hell. For what? Why do y'all get mad instead of using some intelligence? Like y'all say, y'all high IQ people. Then use your high IQ to control yourself. Or, or get some medication, man. What is God saying again? Because you rage against me and thy tumult has come up to my ears. All of the bodies that you slaying is stacking up, Gentile. Therefore, I will put hooks in your nose and my and he just we read it yesterday and then your jaws right and i will bridle in thy lips and my bridle in your lips like a damn horse and i will turn thee back by the way which thou came so you came one way and he's gonna send your ass packing the other way you're gonna leave right on your ass this is the god of israel listen carefully to that so far it's just been talking about you who has just been talking about you? The God of Israel. Somebody take this video to his wicked ass. You know. You know how many times my video going to get reported by them jam jackasses? They can't find nothing in it. He said jackass. You know. They'll look for something small like that. Motherfucker called the police on me. Yo, people, they called the police on me online. Somebody called Child Protective Services. Somebody uh, reported my uh, channel as child abuse. This is look 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 at the lows that you Gentiles are stooping to. Some Gentiles don't come back and speak to me. You spoke to me well before. If if I say anything in your your you know, I guess on your be behoof. But if it sounds like it's against you now, all of a sudden you mad. What kind of friend are you, huh? Come on, am I saying something against you here? Or is God saying all of this? Ezekiel 32, 7. When I extinguish you, your fire that he going to put out. I will cover the heavens and dark, darken the stars. I will cover the sun with a cloud and the moon will not give its light. And he's talking about extinguishing the Gentile. Seems like God got a problem with you and you're mad at Raptor News because God got a problem with you. As if the problem goes away if you get my channel shut down. And just like I can show, I can show you uh, a video with multiple channels shut down on mine. I was going to put that out yesterday. You know, because that's all y'all do when y'all can't stand the truth. And guess what Raptor News is going to do? I'm going to make five more channels. Just like I did before. And I'm going to keep preaching the same message. Ta ta tough titty. Right? Tough titty. And watch this. Obadiah 115. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the nations. And who are the nations? Gentiles. As you have done, it shall be done to you. As you have done, it shall be done to you. Prophecy. As you have done, it shall be done to you. Your deeds shall return upon your own head. Prophecy. The white man, they talking about the Bible. Mass murder, rapes, pillages, plunder, slavery, child abuse, and killings, and the killing of the unborn children. Didn't you do that? And then look, why get angry? When God does it back to you. Why well, get angry? As you have done, it shall be done to you. Now you get what Raptor News is saying. See, I'm trying to educate you. That as a man sow, so shall he reap. Now it's coming to pass. It was in, uh, uh, you know, Matthew 7, 1. For what measure that you measured out, the same will be measured back to you. There is a balance system, Gentile. So those who took us into captivity 
will be led into captivity. It's going to go into slavery. The balance system is going to work out and you can't do shit about it. It happens. And I guess you can say it. Shit happens. Ezekiel 30, number 3. For the day is near. The day of the Lord is near. It will be a day of clouds and a time of doom for what? The Gentiles again. A time of doom for you. So the closer we get to the end, God said, the more angry y'all getting. Because the truth has come out. If all the truth got to come out, then why don't y'all just let it? You know, we're going to shit your chin and chin and news. We're going to all lie and work viciously against you. Good for you. And the curse of God be on all of you. And you have done nothing to wrap the news because my reward is in the kingdom of God. Not here on YouTube, dumbasses. Psalms 915, the Gentiles have fallen into the pit that they dug for others. They have fallen into the pit that they dug for others. Retribution is a mofo, ain't it? That's all it is. You know, y'all supposed to just dog out the whole damn world and nothing was ever supposed to happen to you. We here paying for the, the crimes of our forefathers for worshiping false gods. You know, and we paying like hell in hell for that shit. And then uh, y'all not going to pay and y'all children ain't going to pay. He said you and your kids are going to pay. Micah 515, I will execute vengeance in anger and fury upon the Gentiles such as they have not heard. That sounds like a God that's pleased with you. And just like I said yesterday, where is Jesus at? The fake pagan white God that's supposed to block God from destroying y'all wicked asses. It's a fairy tale. It's a fairy tale. The legend of the little sissy and the pamper that got crucified supposedly by his own creation. It's a fairy tale. It's like freaking the Easter bunny like y'all said. Ezekiel 35 5 because thou has had a perpetual hatred that's the problem with God and you learn how to be nice and have shed the blood of the children of Israel by force of the sword rape pillages mass murders everything you saying God did that's what you do Ooh. That's what you do. Retribution. Ezekiel 25, 14. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. Expect it then. The, your government is. The police departments are. What do you think they're killing black people for minor traffic violations for? Because the gin that's inside the white man already know what's going to go down and they shall do in Edom you know Whiteville according to my anger according to my anger according to my vengeance and anger and according to my fury and they shall know my vengeance says the Lord when when not when when did he ever speak to you in any of these verses None. All of it was what? Against you, huh? Now ask yourself a question. Who was the book sent to? It was not sent to you. You can pretend like, okay, that's the Negro book. And there is no God. Most of y'all do that, right? But I think you know it's a God. I, I really think you know it's a God. And the ones that get it, guess what they're going to do? That's what they're going to do. They're going to realize they are dropping the bucket. And they are nothing in the eyesight of God. They're going to start being proud. And they're going to bow down and bless the black man. Like God commanded that they do. Or he's going to force you. Like he said in Revelation 3.9. He's going to force the Gentile uh, synagogue of Satan to bow down to the black man. 
what color is the synagogue of Satan? The ones over there pretending to be Jew, calling themselves Jewish. God said we'll never see the land again. Then who are them strange motherfuckers over there pretending to be God's people? The synagogue of Satan. Why is he said why is he calling them the synagogue of Satan? The the temple of the devil. Because they are the devils. Why did he say I, I, I pray or that you should not um, be partakers with these Gentiles who are devils? Why does why is God calling you devils? You know, it has nothing to do with Raptor News. You pissy for no reason, Missy. Missy, you pissy for no reason. You know, direct. So this, this, this is what I learned, you know, when, when I worked at the mental hospital. This is what I learned to do. Channel and redirect your anger and focus on something else because you guys get fixated on stupid. Redirect your anger to something else. Learn how to, here's a toy, play with it. You know, paint a little pretty picture. Do something to stop channeling in on Rap the News because you're becoming fixated. And when you become fixated to such a degree, then you become mentally ill and you need medication. You know, instead of getting on medication, either stop reading the Bible and the Torah. Pretend like it don't exist because y'all used to pretending. All right. Or come to the truth that the book is not for you. It wasn't written for you. It was written for the black man. As you can clearly hear. It's Raptor News.